Jordan and Woodlawn, let's stand this morning for worship. We're so glad you're here today. It's great to see your smiling faces on this beautiful day. As we open up in worship this morning, I want to encourage you from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, starting in verse 3, it says, We are human, but we don't wage war as humans do. We use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. What that means this morning for us is that God has given us tools, he's given us weapons. It says weapons of our warfare, and they're not fleshly. It is the things that the Lord has given us, and one of them is worship. We come and we worship the Lord. It breaks down those strongholds in our lives. So if you come this morning and you feel like there's a barrier between you and the Lord, just press through this morning and let's just call down on his name, and he will come and he will visit us this morning. Father, we love you.
name and thank you for this morning, church. Amen. Amen. Thanks for being a 
good Father here this morning. Thank you, Father. Because death could not hold you. Clear before you. You silence the bones of sin and grave. The heavens are roaring. The praise of your glory. For you are raised to life. Can we tell you, my Jesus? Can I say, you have no. Can we tell them thanks for being up this morning, church? Come on, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just thank you for this incredible opportunity we have to let you know. And thank you for being a holy, loving God here this morning. A thousand generations falling down in worship. To sing the song of ages to the Lamb. And all who gone before us, and all who will believe, to sing the song of ages to the Lamb. Would you say, Your name is the highest, your name is the greatest, your name.
Can we just keep playing that for a second? Would you just begin to open up your hearts and your, your mouths here this morning, just exalting the name of Jesus here? I can tell that he's in the room today. If you're watching online, he's in the room at your homes and in your cars. There's something powerful that when you come together in one body in Christ, when you open up your mouth, you begin to exalt the name of Jesus. If you think about a moment when we're joining in with the heavens, as in the heavens it says there's nonstop worship, just exalting the name of Jesus. Jesus, you are holy. You are worthy. Can we just end with just our voices in the piano here this morning, just singing out that final chorus again. And the angels cried, holy, oh creation cries, holy, you are lifted high, holy, holy forever. God, you hear us when we sing, so hear your people sing. Just lift up the name of Jesus. He's full of mercy and grace. I love how that first song ends. It said, love is pouring out and mercy is pouring out and grace is pouring out. And I just feel like today there's someone here who feels like they're not, they shouldn't be here because of the week they had. Maybe you made some decisions this week that just, that just make you feel unworthy. Or maybe some things happened to you that were beyond your control. And you just need some grace and some mercy today. Can I just tell you that it's pouring out today. It's pouring out through Jesus Christ today. Um, Hebrews chapter 4 says, So then since we have a great high priest who has entered heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to what we believe. This high priest of ours understands our weaknesses, for he faced all the same testings that we do, yet he did not sin. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy, and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. If you need mercy today, if you need grace today, just come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. Let's just take a few seconds just to approach his throne of grace today. Just ask the Lord for grace. Ask the Lord for his mercy today. It's pouring out. His love is pouring out. His grace is pouring out. His mercy is pouring out. What you need, he has today. God, we worship you today. We lift your name high today. And God, we thank you that we can come to your throne boldly and receive mercy and grace. We thank you for your son, Jesus who took our sins to the cross, who became sin for us that we could walk rightly with you today. And we thank you for that, God. And we worship you today. We lift up the name of Jesus today. And we declare that you are enough, that you provide all the grace and all the mercy that we need because we need it every single day. And we thank you that your mercies are new every morning. And so we just cry out to you today. 
our holy, holy God. It's in your name we pray. Amen.